All right, what I'd like to show you guys how to do is how to find the degree, the leading coefficient, the end behavior, the max number of zeros, and the max turning points of a polynomial. The first thing I look at this polynomial, and is I know that it is, um, it is not in the descending form of our degree. So what I need are our exponents. So what I'm going to first have to do is rank our exponents, so therefore we have our highest degree first and our lowest degree last. So I say f of x, and I look at which has the highest exponent. It's going to be negative. 2x to the 10th minus 5x to the 8th plus 1 half x to the 3rd plus 3x to the 1 half. Now, when I look at this function, is now I have something to work with. So the degree is going to be my, in my leading term, it always has the highest um, exponent. So my degree is going to be 10. Then the next thing I need to find out is what is the leading coefficient. Well, now since they're in descending form, my leading co my coefficient is uh, the number that's in, in my term in front of my variable in my leading term, which would be a negative two. Then the next thing is we need to look at what is our n behavior. So what we need to do is we need to remember that when we have a x to the n, that our n is going to help us. Our a and our n are going to help us determine what our n behavior is. So when our n is positive. That means our graph is going to open both up or open both down. So I notice that this is a positive 10, so therefore I know that it's going to be either it's either going to open up or both open down. That means as a graph goes to the left and goes to the right, it's going to open, it's going to go to the same direction. Then the next thing is I need to look at the A, and the A is going to tell me is it going up or down? And if it was odd, it would do something different, which I'll explain in a second. So since it's a negative, that means A is less than 1. My function, my function or polynomial is going to open downward. So I can say n behavior. We can say the left is going to fall um, to uh, left is going to fall, and the right is going to fall. And Then the next thing is we need to look at our max number of zeros. And if I was looking at the max number of zeros, what we need again to look at is our n. And a quick little reminder, our max zeros is, is pretty much your, your n is, and your max number of turning point is n minus 1. So obviously we look at our n, and this is all dealing with the leading coefficient. That's the only thing we're, I'm sorry, the leading term. That's the only thing we're worried about. So we look at our degree. So therefore our max number of zeros is going to be 10. Oh, I'm sorry, max number of zeros, yes, will be 10. And our max number of turning points is going to be n minus 1, which would be 10 minus 1, which is 9. So that's how you find the degree of the leading coefficient, n behavior, max number of zeros, and max turning points. One thing to remember, if this was negative, when you have a negative function, our, positive, our negative function is either going to fall to the left or rise to the right, or it's going to rise to the right and fall to the left. So if it went like this, this would mean that your a is greater than 0. And point like that, this would be when your a is less than 0. Okay? So when a is less than 0, it rises to the left and falls to the right. And when a is greater than 0, it's going to fall, rise to the right and fall to the left. And on contrary, that is your positive that we just went over. And that is for when a year, that is when your function is even. Okay?